In this video, we're going to create this abandoned street together inside of Unreal Engine 5. So let's go. Make sure that when you create a new Unreal Engine project file, that you go straight to the plugin menu and enable the modeling plugin. After you've done that and restarted Unreal Engine, let's go to the modeling mode. In here, we're going to add a rectangle to our scene, which will eventually become our street foundation. So I'm going to block out our abandoned street and I'm going to duplicate our rectangles by holding Alt while moving them. Now with the block out of our scene complete, let's add in a camera to our scene in the selection mode. Search in the place actors panel for a camera. Once you have found your camera actor, drag it into your scene and you can pilot it by pressing on the perspective button and then going to your preferred camera. If the camera is too zoomed in for your liking, you can always change the focal length in the details panel right here. Once we're finished and you want to leave the camera view, you will need to press this button up top. Now let's firstly add some surfaces or materials to our scene. I will do this by opening up Quixel Bridge. You can also use third party websites, but Quixel Bridge is very easy and integrated in Unreal Engine. Once Bridge has opened, I will go to Surfaces and choose Asphalt. In here, I will choose three different types of asphalts that I want to combine into a single material blend. Once downloaded, press Add to add them to your scene. Normally in Unreal Engine, you can easily create material blends. But for some reason, in the version 5.2, it's a little bit broken. So I will just create one manually. With a material blend, you can easily paint between the different surfaces that the plant is composed of. This way you can create really unique surfaces. Once done, let's add the material blend to our rectangles to form our street. Now the fun part begins. We're going to add models to our scene and create a nice looking environment. So let's open up Quixel Bridge again and go to the 3D Assets panel. In here there are a lot of different assets for all different kinds of projects but I will mostly search in the street category. If you want to download a 3D asset, you can do that in a bunch of different qualities. I will choose the nanite quality for a lot of them, but your models will look just fine if you use the medium quality. You can find all of the 3D assets that you've downloaded in a new 3D assets folder in your content browser. To add them to your scene, simply select the static meshes and drag them into your viewport. Once all of your models are added, let's start building out the foundations of our scene. So we're going to create the curb of our street so that after that we can create the sidewalk. Of course, in the creative process, a lot of trial and error has to be done. So the sidewalk that you see right now will be deleted later and swapped out for a better one. Now we're going to add decals to our scene because with decals you can make your scene look really high quality and really detailed without actually doing all that much. To put it simply, decals are basically stickers that you put on a surface. So let's first download this broken drain decal and let's place it alongside of our street curbs. Because these broken drains will not intersect properly, let's place a water drain on this location to cover it all up. There are various decals with which you can fake details in your scene. So let's also add some road debris to our scene. Because I want to make this street look abandoned, I will also download some 3D plants from Bridge. I will download some dandelions, some curbside weeds and some grass. Instead of adding these plants one by one to your scene, let's go into the foliage mode. In the foliage mode, once you have added all your foliage models, you can easily paint with them on any surfaces. In here, you can also change some settings such as the brush size, the paint density, and you can even change the scales of your foliage models. I will use this to paint some plants on the side of our street besides the curbs. So now let's take a step back and look at the scene that we currently have. As you can see, in the top left, there is a big wide open space that we need to fill. So let's make it look like this is someone's front porch, which has been overgrown. So in the modeling mode, let's add a new rectangle to our scene and scale it up so that it fills the entire open space that we saw in the camera view. 
because our sidewalk is slightly tilted, we will need to deform the rectangle at some point. So let's also remesh it. After we've remeshed our rectangle and it has some more triangles, we can go to deform and use the scope tools to model our rectangle along the path of the sidewalk. Once done, let's give our rectangle a material blend of some grass and a road texture. And then in the mesh paint mode, let's paint on some road. And after that, you could see that this is our render. It looks pretty good already, but there is one big thing missing, and that is some shadows of the surrounding world. So let's go and add in some trees from the Unreal Marketplace. You can open the Unreal Marketplace through Unreal Engine or just open your Epic Games launcher. I will download this European Black Alder pack from Megascan Trees and add them to the project file. Once done, you can find them in your project if you open the content browser under Content and Black Alder. I will add the simple wind foliage models to our scene because the pivot painter ones are a lot more intensive for our computer. So in a foliage mode, I will just add them to our foliage and I will only have one tree at a time selected. So only that tree will be painted. As you can see, because these trees cast a shadow on our road, this makes our road look a lot more realistic already. So let's add some different kinds of trees to our scene. And I will also add a tree on a separate plane so that I can move that plane around to place the shadow exactly where I want it to be. So now let's make the front porch look a little bit more realistic. So let's add some grass clumps to our scene and paint them on the plane with again the paintbrush in the foliage mode. Let's also add some different models to our scene to add some variation in the front porch. After we've done that, let's finally replace the sidewalk as promised in the beginning of this video. For the most distant sidewalk, I used this worn pavement surface and I placed it on a scaled rectangle. If your rectangle is not perfectly square, you may need to open the details of your surface and tile it to make it fit correctly. For the sidewalk closest to the camera, I used this broken sidewalk tiles surface and I placed it on a rectangle and added some displacement to it. First, you will need to remesh your square and give it a lot of triangles. Then add a displacement modifier and change the displacement type to texture 2D map. In a displacement map, add this weird yellowish texture that you will automatically get when you download a Megascans surface. Make sure that you also set the channel to blue. I made the intensity of the displacement just enough so that you would see the effect, but that it's not too distracting. To make the sidewalk look extra abandoned, I scattered some extra foliage on top of it. Because I added a material blend to our street, in the mesh paint mode, I will paint some extra fresh asphalt patches. Besides all of that, let's go crazy with a lot of different decals to make the scene really look abandoned. I hope that this video was helpful to someone or at least that it sparked your creativity. If you still have any questions, feel free to place them in the comments below and I will try to answer every single one. Good luck with your 3D renders everyone, bye.